So what do I use Keyboard Maestro for? Damn, let's start at the beginning. Menu items. Mousing, selecting, submenu selecting. All of this takes time and it's super hard on the wrist. I started off in the mid 90s using Quick Keys. It's another macro program and I used it mainly for menu items. It was a revelation, but let's just say I wasn't a programmer. I was barely an audio editor. At some point, Apple upgraded to OS whatever's next, and Quick Keys wasn't ready for it. Since I was already semi-dependent, I started looking around for something that was ready for it. Enter Keyboard Maestro. 36 bucks, well-maintained, often updated, Mac only, but no problem. It took me maybe an hour to figure out how to recreate my little stable of macros in Keyboard Maestro. My go-to plugins, all on hotkeys, show and hide the clip names and timestamps. I love them, but they get in the way of the waveforms. The color palette and other things Pro Tools doesn't have keystrokes for. Or just putting Pro Tools keystrokes where I wanted them. The Keyboard Maestro interface and workflow made me want to dive in. What else could I do that would help get me home at a reasonable hour?